Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It is Yaya speaking and today we are doing a moisturising sealing video. I also throw in a cheeky little hairstyle I like to do to make sure my hair is moisturised throughout the week. First things first, I like to use my favourite leave-in conditioner along with some shea butter and a spray bottle for moisture. Next, I like to grab my hair and part it into four sections. This just allows my hair to be easier to work with so I can absorb the products into my hair without any extra hassle. Next, I like to grab my spray bottle and make sure my hair is saturated with water. This just allows my hands to glide throughout my hair and makes it easier to manage. And then here is the star of the show, my favourite leave-in conditioner of the season, the TGIN Green Tea. And I like to go in and seal it all together with some shea butter. Right after that, I like to detangle my hair with a wide tooth comb to make sure there's no more tangles. And here you can see I am going crazy with the leave-in conditioner. I like to add as much as I need throughout my whole hair so that I'm able to moisturise all my strands. So I use the praying hands method and I just rake it through also, making sure I get to the ends and make sure that every single thing is covered. And then I grab my towel or cotton t-shirt and wipe my hands off so that it's easier for me to rub in my shea butter throughout my hair. Right afterwards, I like to plait up my hair. But before I do that, I do add some extra leave-in conditioner. Add as much as you feel as though you need to just make sure my ends are completely covered. And then I repeat the same thing for my whole head. So I put it in the leave-in conditioner, grab my shea butter and put it all the way through, focusing on the back of my hair and my ends. And then I really just like to twist it up and move on to the next section. All done. Next what I like to do is usually put my hair in a protective hairstyle and I leave it in for the rest of the week. Here I am using my Denman brush to smooth out any kinks that might be at the root of my hair. You do this just to make sure your hair is nice and smooth and then I grab my favourite gel at the moment and put that throughout my hair. So as you can see I am not shy with the gel, I like to slap that on just to make sure I get the sleekest of sleekest looks. Next I like to grab my brush and just make sure it's nice and smooth. I bunch my hair all together and then I like to grab myself a hairband or a headband and just put my hair together and at this point it does not need to be tight because you will be taking it out later on. Just make sure it's nice in your hair and so you're able to bunch it all together. Next I like to grab my hair and twist it slightly. Then I get myself a hairband and just put that through about a few inches down and I do that about three or four maybe five times just to make sure I'm able to create those bubbles in my hair when it gets to about the fifth bubble I like to use an elastic band just because I prefer to have smaller bands once it gets to the bottom so it doesn't look as bulky but feel free to use whatever you have in your home Next, I like to take out my hairband and unfortunately or fortunately my hairband broke but this works out for my favour because I was able to get an even sleeker look. So I tied my hairband as if I was doing a puff and I made it slide all the way down so I was able to get an even sleeker look. Then I, what I like to do is grab the hairband ends and just keep going over my hair until I'm able to tuck it under. Now onto the optional edges part, but I do believe this brings the look together. I like to add some more gel to my edges and grab my little brush and just bring my edges and swoop a little bit. If you don't like the swoops, feel free to leave it alone, but this is for an added touch that I like to make sure I have. Now to make sure my hair is even sleeker, I like to get myself a silk scarf and wrap it over my head. 
using the exact same method as I did with the hairband or headband I like to tie it at the top and then make sure I am pulling it down I use the same method in my sleek bun video if you want to have a look but then I wait a few moments and then take the headscarf off and as you can see the looks are amazing my hair is nice and sleek and it looks amazing for the rest of the week but this is the end of the video and as you can see my hair is looking moisturized but if you'd like to see some more make sure you subscribe or comment and like if you would like to and i hope to see you in my next video ciao